one that's a protected property. Safe. Safe. I'm sorry, but like, what are you guys doing? You guys are cowards. Okay. You guys are really cowards. Like, what? Security? Where'd you use LA police? <laughs> LAPD? Are they in the bushes over there? <laughs> I mean, it's not these guys' fault. These guys are just higher security. And... Some of you may be watching the UCLA uh, protest, the pro Palestine encampment, and counter protests from pro Israeli. Uh, and the counterparts are literally right next to each other. Now, last night, I watched it, the live stream from a gentleman who does freelance news, and his channel is called uh, AXN News. And he was there all night. And was there some violence? Yes, absolutely there was. Throwing boards back and forth, two by fours. Uh, some people got hit with them. You had bear spray, homemade pepper spray deployed from both sides, bottles of unknown liquids going back and forth. Lots of violence, some fights. So with this type of environment, is it really event security at that point? When you have law enforcement coming in, CHP, UCLA PD, uh, LAPD, right? So you had University Police, you had the California Highway Patrol, you had the Los Angeles Police Department there as mutual aid. And somebody said even that Beverly Hills PD showed up. It goes to show you that the mutual aid agreements were enacted. So if you have armed officers coming, with helmets, gas masks, firearms, wooden stick batons. All these things came into play. And then you had event security that was still standing there. And I can't wrong these guys, right? But when we do our risk assessment, when does it turn into active threats to our officers, and we need to start removing ourselves. And you can see them standing off to the side, which I, I completely commend them for that. That was definitely the right move. Any move to help one side or the other could get a the other side to react against you. It could be perceived that you are supporting one side more than the other. There was violence. There was a lot of emotions in play. It hasn't been reported if any of those injuries were serious. It looks like everyone was able to walk away who was hurt or run away. But could you cause a lethal injury rolling back and forth a two by four? Absolutely. So once it gets to that point, I guess my question to you guys is, when as a supervisor on scene, do you start to retract your private security? In light of, it's no longer safe. We no longer have the PPE. We don't have the equipment to handle this situation. Remember, they didn't have shields. They didn't have helmets. You had people in the crowd wearing helmets. You had law enforcement wearing helmets, but the private security, they weren't wearing bullet-resistant bullet vests. They weren't. And people were like, where is security? Where is police? Every time something 
violent would happen. Could your inaction be perceived that you're in support of the other side? Absolutely. Could either crowd turn against you? Absolutely. So what are your options there? You tell me, guys.